happy Friday. Today, I asked in the video I posted yesterday which one y'all wanted me to do, the blue or the pink, and nobody really answered, so I was looking at what I wanted to wear, so we're going with the ColourPop Ooh La La. It's um, pink. It looks like this inside. This little thing from the mirror comes off, and it's got a really good mirror. And so, I'm going to be using this palette to do my eye look today. The face makeup is mostly, I did the powder and the contour and other stuff um, on another video, except for the bronzing and the blush. I did all that in the brows myself, uh, off camera. Um, I'm doing the wear test on the NYX BB cream while I'm at my mom's house today. So, I'm first gonna go in with soft core right there as the transition shade. I'm trying to decide if I need it. Hey, can you two stop? Stop! Leave the dog alone. Eric, leave the dog alone. Eric. All right, let's see. He gets hyper when he's watching his shows and then he all of a sudden he wants to pick on the dog. I don't get it. And now he's picking on me. But I don't bite. So, sometimes you can't blame the dog. I'm trying to find my crease brush. That's not it. I just cleaned them last night, so I know it's here. I want my crease brush. Don't y'all hate when things don't do what it's supposed to do? There it is. Okay. Next color I want to go into. That seems kind of patchy. That's like really hot pink. Do I want to go that bright? You know what? Let's try it. We could always put a different color over it. I'm gonna tap it, look at that color. Tap some of that off. Start on the outer edge. And work its way into the crease. To the inner corner of the crease. Well, you can see it when I open my eyes, so we're not gonna have that problem. Wow, I barely tapped it in there and it still came out with a lot of color. That's one thing about ColourPop shadows. They are very, very pigmented. And at this point with this pink, there is a 50-50 chance I just realized that I'm staining my eyes because I did not put a primer down. Oh well. I'll get in the pool this weekend. I'm sure that'll help. All right, let's go ahead and mm. always be careful, especially depending on formulas. Some of these will stain these pink shadows, red shadows. I'm not sure if this is a pressed pigment. If it's a pressed pigment, more than likely it'll stain. Let me see, where's my little... <clears throat> this way we can make the lines more even. These are only a dollar on elf.com. I don't know if you can find them anywhere else.
then you don't have to worry about going so far over. All right, let's go ahead and blend it. The same way I always do, take the soft core that I used in the, as the transition shade and we're going windshield wiper motions and moving it up. All right, now we're gonna take See what this one looks like. That'll match the crease. See those two will kind of blend in with the crease. So let's go in. Let's try big sugar right here and see what happens. I'm gonna move in closer to you. I'm only gonna take it halfway. It blended in. With the crease shade, but that is fine. We will now take another flat brush and we're gonna go into Tickle. It's a white metallic-y color. And we are gonna tap it on top of that pink color not that it's changing it much Let's see if it does if I use my finger yeah that changed it more Because you want that color to stand out from the crease a little bit. You don't want it to blend right in because it was a metallic color, but it was blending right in. Let me go ahead and grab this brush right here. I haven't used it for anything since I washed it. And I'm going to sweep away some of that. When you use your fingers, you take the chance on some of the fallout happening. All right. Now I want to take the same brush that I just used. I'm going to take Moonstruck, a gold color. And I want to put it... On the outer edge. Like so. I know normally people put dark colors there. But sometimes I just want it to kind of radiate the metallic. All right, now we're gonna take this brush. We're gonna dip back into um, Sandbar, that hot pink color. And we are gonna define the crease more by kind of stamping it around the eyelid like so. Now we're going to take that gold color again. Mm. All right, let's take the, let's take this little smudge, it says crease brush. We're going to go back and forth. This is an Ulta crease brush. Just moving back and forth. Blending it mostly. And I'm going to dampen this brush. Let's use the shade switcher. Dampen it. 
with the Ma Milani Make It Dewy. And I'm going to put that white stuff on it again. It's called Tickled. To add a little bit more. Pop to that. Oh, he is such a uh, bad mood today. Little does he know he's going to go to a P-O-O-L at Nana's house. All right, let's take this off. And then we could do the under the eye with the sandbar. And just smoke it a little bit underneath the lash lines. We're going to use this Vivid Baked Highlighter that I got for y'all in your giveaway for back to school. And the color Radiant Lights. We're going to pop that in the inner corners. And on the tail of the eye eyebrows. And we're going to take this blending brush right here and just kind of make sure this is blended. We don't want no harsh lines. All right, the colors I used. This is on the transition shade. This is the crease shade. I used big sugar for the lid, and then I put tickled over the top of that. On the outer V is this gold color called Moonstruck, and that's the colors I used from that palette so far. And now I'm gonna go in with Urban Decay Hex Remedy space dust just in case I have pink shadow on my fingers let's just go ahead and hold our face with the beauty blender or we will have fingerprints I love this one. It adds the perfect amount of pop and sparkle to your eyes. All right, now we're going to curl our lashes. We're going to take this Lash Sensational by Maybelline. It's one of my favorite drugstore mascaras. Which I also got for y'all in the giveaway. All right, and now Anastasia brow gel. Stick the brows in place because it's hot in Texas, and I'm gonna be outside. 
for a little while. The coast of Texas has a lot of humidity. So, there's that. Now we're going to let that dry and we're going to use this NYX suede in Copenhagen to line our lips. Now, technically, I could take a brush and just kind of move this around and use it for the whole lip, but I'm not going to. I'm going to try to use you know what? Let's use this Wet n Wild metallic lipstick. I think that'll look pretty. It does kind of look pretty. Let's add a little bit of blush. Maybe a little bit more highlight in a minute. I hate when you put lipstick on sometimes. It makes the rest of the face look so pale. We'll touch up the bronzer. It's the Revolution. And the blush was in Captivating, I believe, by Tarte. Yeah, Captivating. It's one of my favorites. It's technically my favorite because I only own two Tarte blushes, and this is the one I have in the full size. When I saw it, I wanted it. Okay, and now we're going to go back in with the Vivid Baked Highlighter. I love the subtle glow to it. Put some on the tip of my finger to put right there on the lip. And then we're gonna take the Milani Make It Dewy Setting Spray. which basically makes it wet. I gotta fix the sprayer. I think there's something clogged in there. Cause there's like two spots where it goes. All right, so when you wanna dry it off and you don't have a fan, just take your beauty blender and just make the mat, the foundation mash into the skin like so. And I have to say, this eye look turned out great. That looks really pretty. Oh my gosh. Wow. Okay. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. This is the final look with the ColourPop Ooh La La palette. It only costs $12. They have an orange one and now a yellow one, the green one, the blue one, red one. Love this. Love the formula in these. These are so great. I hope y'all have a wonderful day and I'll see you in the next one.